Take it. That was sick. That fish just came up and slurped the bait. Just slurped it. Just slurped it. Really came up slow behind it and just pretty much engulfed it. That's exactly what I'm looking for today. Nice snook there. Looks like he's been caught before. Looks like he's been caught right there. Probably a 22, 23 incher right there on that live target. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it in a second, but let me pop this guy off. Well, that was easy. And uh, we'll spin around here and get him going. There was a pretty big bull shark hanging around here earlier, so I don't. I want to stick my hands too far in the water, but there he goes. Beautiful fish. Nice. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to another video today. So as you can see, we're on the paddle board today. Uh, I'm actually, I got to do like a part change on the, uh, on my trolling motor. So my Ginu's not, uh, not rolling right now. So we're on the paddle board. We'll make it work. Uh, been a little bit since I've fished on the paddle board and it is an absolute beautiful morning. There is bait pretty much everywhere. As far as you can see, Pelican's diving. We just knocked out the first snook of the day. It was about a 22 inch or so. It wasn't, wasn't huge or anything, but it was a nice fish. Pulled me around a little bit. And today is all about uh, this lure right here. We got a lure review for you guys today. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. So right here in my hand, I have the Live Target Pinfish. I got them rigged up on both my rods. Um, Pen Fathom on this, uh, Pen Fathom low profile on this setup. And then uh, right behind me, I have a uh, Pen Slammer. So I got two of these baits rigged up, two rods. Um, if you guys have never watched Lure Review before or uh, any video from the series, basically I will take a bait and uh, I'll fish it all day. At the end of the video, I'll tell you guys what I think. You guys can see how it fishes. You can hear my opinions on it, hear what I like, hear what I don't like. And uh, yeah, just uh, gonna throw it out there that I'm not being paid to work with Live Target or, or use this bait in uh, my video today. I'm not affiliated with them. So I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinion. Um, if you guys have seen these before, they are basically an ultra realistic looking swim bait. I'll try to hold it just like this so you guys can see it. Ultra realistic swim bait. Um, they do look ultra realistic. They definitely will catch your eye in the store. And uh, I think these guys will run you a little over $10, um, maybe depending on where you get it. But live target pinfish, it's about three and a half inches. It's an ounce and uh, it's just a swim bait. I'm just gonna reel it real slow around these trees, mangroves, structure, look for snook, maybe redfish, trout. Uh, I've seen a couple tarpon roll this morning, but yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this lure. Have you ever used it before? Um, and let's uh, let's continue fishing. I'm looking to get a bunch of nice fish today. There's just fish blowing up everywhere. So let's uh, let's keep fishing. Let's get it done today. couldn't see that but nice probably 25 inch or chased it down which would have been the second one today i have had two really nice follow-ups and they didn't take it so i might need to change up my uh kind of my retrieve maybe i need to twitch it a bit more or slow it down but that is the second really nice fish that has followed it There's a fish. Thumped it. Oh, thumped it off that tree. Second one. Second little one that I got thumped and he slid right off. So as you guys can see here, I'll point this out. Um, this hook right here is protected by the kind of the dorsal fin right there of the pinfish or 
whatever you call it. It can it can spin a little bit like this to get the hook, but I do think that this these baits can be kind of tricky with hooking fish. You either hook them good or they come off like I don't know, no in between. I feel like you're not going to land a fish that you didn't hook perfectly. I guess is is what I mean to say. Snook tried to eat it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I am surrounded by snook right here and I can't really get an eat. That was my first eat and it was almost more like a reaction bite. Well, I didn't do anything. It pulled out of his mouth. Oh, man. I just said poke and I didn't get him. Freight up pretty good. Freight up pretty good. <sighs> I just didn't grab him. I mean, I set the hook hard. I set the hook hard. I'm just going to switch over to my spinning rod here instead of retying. Just going to switch over. Two eats. That was like back to back eats. This fish was probably over 30. Getting into some fish here, but for the most part, the morning was pretty slow. There's one over there. Facing it. Pulled off it. All right, let's get a big fish. Let's get a big fish. Yep, that's him. No time at all. They're eating good. Now we gotta somehow land this fish in the structure. Nice snook. This is gonna be really tough. I'm not gonna lie, really tough. He's hooked on the outside of the lips. Really nice fish. Yeah, it looks like I hooked him good. Really nice fish. Need him to stay out of the trees. Stay out of the trees. Stay out of the trees. Just keep his head up and I think we can land him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's pulling me right up into the trees here. I got him now. I think I got him. I think I got him. Just gotta get him up on the board. Not losing my paddle. Come on. Oh, that's a fat fish. That would be a big top slot. Oh. My gosh. Oh my god. That is a big fish. Oh, that is a big fish. I know you guys probably don't have the best angle here. But wow. All right, so pinfish right in the corner of his mouth there, just dragging it over a couple that were just chilling. Ouch, he just bit the crap out of me. Big fish. I mean, this fish has got to be 32 inches. All right. Make this quick. Make this easy. Wow, I can't believe we did that. We just put the heat on him and we got him. We got him. Beautiful. Well, I guess, I guess this is a her, I should say. We got her. Oh, my gosh. What a fish, man. What a fish. 
I'm gonna retie and get back in there because there was literally so many fish right there in this little uh this pocket this back pocket all right so I am freed up just a little bit here just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and cut and retie but they did not start eating this thing until I started skipping it across the surface really quickly to where I wasn't really giving them a chance to look at it they were just eating it because it looked like something that they needed to eat or else it was gonna get away so that was a one of my biggest snook in a while but we found them we got three bites right there landed one so let me retie and that was pretty awesome I must say Come on, just burn it across the surface and they're smoking it. Come on. Always pulling me straight to the trees. I gotta keep it tight. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Come on, slammer. Come on, slammer. Oh. Oh my gosh, to keep my balance going probably three miles an hour into the trees there, because that's what that fish just took me, that's number two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. I mean, they, will, they won't touch it unless I'm burning it across the surface, so I'm not going to give, right off the bat, I don't think I'm going to give a whole lot of credit to the lure, because I think it is the... Um, it is the way I'm working it that is getting them to bite, but man, this is exciting. This is exciting. I think I think any lure you were skipping across the surface right now, over these guys' heads, they would be smoking it. But here is another one. Number two, second real one of the day. Woo! Second real one. He looks like he's about 29 maybe pop this right out of them another pretty good hook set like i was saying you either hook them really good or you don't hook them good at all and then it'll probably shake you but this one as you can see here it, he was not going to be able to shake that <sighs> wow incredible hope you guys can see that all right that was awesome that was awesome i can't complain about that at all beautiful fish just coming up and smoking it from behind drop this guy back in here without falling into the water <laughs> oh awesome from the paddle board so oh he's ready let's spin him so so exciting there he goes go buddy go go buddy go he's chilling oh starting to kick and like it never even happened he's probably saying what in the world just went down well fish number two on this one right here now we have lost both eyes but like I was saying I don't think um, the way this lure is the ultra realistic whatever it's getting bites I will say but I do think it is uh, more so because I'm working it super quick not giving a chance to think about it just making it look like a bait that's trying to get away and super spooked and a lot of times snook really like that that's what triggers them to to kind of pull the trigger and bite but second fish down what a day so far so I'm about to stand up and get back to fishing here, but I figured I'd mention the setup real quick. I have bodied both those snook uh, pretty pretty well for being on a paddleboard, but a Penn 2500 Slammer 4 right here. We got a Fenwick Elite Inshore. This is my favorite rod. It, it feels so good, and it just visually it looks so nice. Um, this is medium, uh, fast action, seven foot, and uh, yeah. Once again, I am using 40 pound mono leader. So yeah, so uh, keep fishing here. I'm just gonna keep going if they're eating really well that was like five eats in a 15 minute period so for whatever reason they're chewing right now
Well guys, kind of taking a midday breather here. It is 11.45. I'm probably only gonna fish for another um, two hours at very most. And uh, we've got three fish so far. I've, I've lost a couple here and there. I've had some swings uh, from fish, uh, bigger fish, that maybe I was the reason that I, I didn't get the bite, but three fish. Um, the two that ate like within a five minute span of each other, and uh, then the one that I got early this morning. We've had some action today. We definitely had some action. Um, it, what I've taken so far is that uh, if I'm throwing at a fish that I can see and I'm working it slowly, like I'm just letting the bait do its action, just da 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 the snook do not care about it. Like they don't show any interest in it, but I really have to work it quick, quick, quick. Um, I mean, burning it across the surface to get them to bite. And uh, so far that's pretty much all I've taken from it. They're somewhat durable um, and yeah, they seem to be working. So. Uh, I'm going to eat my lunch here and uh, get back to fishing and hopefully we can knock out one more good fish to uh, end off this day. Oh, he's got so much. Oh. Snook slammed it back there in that shadow. Little guy, but slammed it. Well guys, it is officially one o'clock now and uh, it's time for me to get off the water. The wind has picked up quite a bit out here and I think that's gonna wrap up the review. So before I tell you guys my final thoughts on the live target pinfish, I figured I have both of the pinfish here and uh, they're both intact. I got my other one right here on the uh, on my bait caster and I figured I'd give them away to, uh, I'll give them away to the first two people who place orders on my website. So jmfishco.com, grab some stickers. I got some neat clothes and stuff like that. Check it out. The first two people who place orders after this video goes live, I'll give this, uh, I'll give one of these live target pinfish to, and hopefully you guys can catch some, or you can catch some fish on it as well. That would be really neat to have some, uh, some fans catch some some fish on on lures I've used. Um, so yeah, that is that is that. Um, fished about five and a half hours, and or I think five and a half hours, something like that. Made a lot of casts. Fished very hard, and uh, we ended up with three really good fish. So one being like a 32 inch snook, I think about a 30 inch snook, and then uh, maybe a 22 inch snook. And uh, I, yeah, like I said, I made about a thousand casts. The durability was decent. I don't see any like really bad tears the only thing i see is that they kind of lost the eyes hopefully you guys can see that the eye like just popped out so i guess those could be like glued in a little bit better or whatever however maybe it could even the eyes should maybe even be painted on that would probably make uh that would probably make it last longer but yeah overall i caught three good fish and i think the uh the trick to it today was just burning it burning it across the surface on the ones that i could sight fish so all the blind casts if i just cruised it out of the mangroves. I just wasn't really finding bites. Um, when I could see fish and I would rip it across the surface, they would be interested. Now I'd say like one in 10 fish actually pulled the trigger and ate it. And then uh, I had, I felt like 20 fish or some so, 25 fish just like nose it and then pull off it, nose it and then pull off it. And that happened, yeah, like a lot today. Um, and then I had a couple bites that I missed and, and so forth, but that, that happens with every lure. And um, yeah, is this thing worth 12, I, I think it's 10 to $13. Maybe it might depend on where you buy it. It is kind of pricey lure. Um, if it's worth it, I don't know. Depends uh, Depends on how you like to fish and if it works in your area. Because honestly, uh, you can watch this video and feel good about a lure, go out and not catch a fish. Or you may take this lure out and catch 10 times as many fish today. So, I mean, it's a review. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed these. I enjoy these lure review videos, kind of mix it up and uh, just pick a random lure and fish it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to throw in the next lure review, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.